Boss Baby is a 2017 American 3D computer animated comedy film, loosely based on the 2010 picture book of the same name written and illustrated by Marla Ferzi. Produced by DreamWorks Animation, the film is directed by Tom McGrath and written by Michael McCullers. A new baby's arrival impacts a family, told from the point of view of a delightfully unreliable narrator a wildly imaginative seven-year-old named Tim. The most unusual boss baby arrives at Tim's home in a taxi, wearing a suit and carrying a briefcase. The instant sibling rivalry must soon be put aside when Tim discovers that boss baby is actually a spy on a secret mission, and only he can help thwart a dastardly plot that involves an epic battle between puppies and babies. That content is offset with the wild and creative visual design. The film is directed by Tom McGrath, who directed the Madagascar and Megamind films, and got his start in animation on The Red and Stimpy Show. There's a fluidness to the action sequences, especially the imaginative fantasy sequences of young Tim Templeton, the boy whose home the boss baby invades. It's a visual treat from start to finish, expansive in scope and multitudinous in its design influences. The corporate scheming is simply the backdrop for what becomes a sibling love story. Tim and Boss Baby start out as rivals, especially when he discovers that his little be-suited younger brother is actually a swaggering executive with the dulcet tones of Baldwin, outfitted in little sock garters, with a penchant for sushi and espresso. The two strike a deal, if Tim helps Boss Baby with the Puppy Corporation mission, Boss Baby gets his corner office, and Tim gets his parents' full attention back. The film opens with a hilarious montage that shows where babies come from, a baby manufacturing factory with assembly lines and everything. Most of them are assigned to a family, and some who aren't cute enough are sent to work at this factory's headquarters. All of this is prefaced by the fact that our protagonist Tim has a very vivid imagination. The whole movie could very well be an active fantasy of his. But whether it is real or not is left to the viewer. The writing is mostly fresh, sometimes infused with dry wit and will tickle you. There is some physical comedy, a lot of toilet humor and, thankfully uncensored, baby bottoms. The story itself turns into quite a cliché with an evil villain and a little boy with a savior complex. Towards the end, there is some blatant emotional manipulation, but it isn't too bothersome. Give this movie a shot, the storytelling isn't strong enough to make you weep like a baby, but it will occasionally make you giggle like one. Not a must watch, but a time pass one. If you love to update yourself with trending movie news, health topics, and other exclusive contents, then please subscribe, Golden Eagle by clicking subscribe button. Golden Eagle is daily dose of your exclusive content. Thanks for watching.